All right, you mentioned to me that I should not have to have the bolt carrier group back all the way to, and then uh, uh, to have the magazine go in. And um, maybe that's an issue, and you're right. Um, this is one of the magazines that I purchased. Uh, one of the ma it's a Magpul, uh, 5.56 by 45, um, 30 round magazine. This is the one you let me borrow. It's identical. All right, now watch yours bolts forward. Yours goes in right there. It starts to hit, clicks into place. It's solid. See that? No, no problem. All right, push it. How it goes. This one it goes in. I'm trying to do it real gentle, so you can hear. See that's where it hits, then goes in, and it falls back out. This is not. not engaging here. This is not. But if you whack it, then it works. So I don't I don't really care for that. Um, how it comes just fine. Even pretty hard, pretty solid, right? No, it comes right out. Solid. You gotta do that to it to make it stay. That that's not adequate. Yours go in slick, slick as snot. Every time. Mine do not ever, unless you smack, I mean, so hard. Look at my, my hands, like, it hurts like crazy. I have to whack it that hard. So, there we go. So anyway, maybe we can take a look at that. And then when you release it, you can feel it. It's under tent pressure. So, uh, you know, watch it right here. You get, it takes quite a bit of force to pop it. Like it, you really got to force it in there. And these are the two different ones here. Yours is on the, on your right, I guess, my left. I don't see anything different. So anyway, maybe we can take a look at that. Maybe these end up having to be re, re, returned. I don't know that there's anything different with it. So anyway, you were right. Um, you should not have to have the bolt carrier group back, but that means something's wrong. We'll take a look at it when I'm over at your place.